This is Sylvester Sloth. My name's Miss Anna, and welcome to Storytime. Sylvester Sloth and I were just talking about feeling scared. Do you ever feel scared or afraid? Yeah, me too. I wanted to share a story with you from my incredible book of stories. Would that be all right? Great. This is a story about a raccoon named Roscoe, who sometimes feels afraid too. Are you ready, Sylvester? Are you ready, friends? Here we go. Roscoe Raccoon is artistic. That means he really likes to create things like paintings, drawings, and even poetry. In fact, his favorite thing to do is write poetry. It helps him understand his feelings. One night, as Roscoe was laying in bed, trying his best to fall asleep, he heard a noise. Not a very loud, banging noise, but a soft squeak bump coming from the hallway. Oh no, Roscoe thought. What was that? He felt very afraid. His whole body felt hot and his jaw was shut tight so that his teeth felt like they were trying to crush something. Does your body ever feel like that when you're scared? Sometimes mine does. My body feels very warm and my jaw is shut tight like my teeth are trying to crush something. Being scared is not very fun. Let's see what happens next in our story. He tried his best to close his eyes to fall asleep, but it wasn't helping him feel less afraid. As he lay in bed with his eyes wide open now, he started thinking about things that made him feel happy. He thought about some of the things he was good at, his talents. T A L E N T. Would you like to see what I wrote? It's the word talent. T A L E N T. Talent. Do you know what a talent is? It's something that you're very good at. So, if you're very funny and good at telling jokes, that's a talent. Or if you're a very good dancer, that's a talent too. And even if you're just a fast runner, that's a great talent. Everyone has a talent. In fact, most people have more than one. Let's get back to our story. One of Roscoe's talents was writing poetry. Oh yeah, he thought to himself. Maybe if I write about my feelings, I would feel less afraid and more peaceful. So he got an idea. He would write a poem in his mind to help him feel less afraid. Okay, Roscoe determined, I can do this. I know it's okay to feel scared, but I'd really like to feel a different feeling now. This fear can't destroy me. And just like that, he came up with this poem. Could I read it to you? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Being scared is no fun. It's no fun at all. But when my fears come to get me, I conquer them all. By reminding myself that all shall be well if I take a deep breath and ride the swell of fear's big wave that will pass very soon because fear can't destroy the magic in you. One thing that Roscoe wrote about in his poem was about taking deep breaths. And I think that sounds like a nice way to calm yourself too, doesn't it? Would you do that with me? Let's all take a deep breath together on the count of three. One, two, three. <sighs> wow, I already feel better. How does your body feel after taking a really deep breath? Does it feel calm and relaxed? Let's see what happens after Roscoe came up with his poem. Roscoe said his poem once more in a very soft voice and suddenly felt a smile on his face. His fear was gone. And it turns out the squeak bump he heard in the hallway was just the door of his sister's bedroom being closed. His eyes shut now. He smiled and whispered one more time. Fear can't destroy the magic in you. The end. It can be very scary to hear noises at night when the house is dark and you think everyone is asleep. Being scared is no fun at all. 
but you can help your mind and your body feel less afraid by remembering to take a deep breath and by also knowing that everyone gets scared sometimes. It's a feeling. It's a feeling that comes and it's a feeling that goes away too. Tonight, before you go to bed, I want you to think of all of the things that you're very good at, your talents. Make a list in your mind or with a parent or a friend. Do you have a talent that could help you feel less afraid like Roscoe? Maybe just thinking about the things that you're very good at will help you feel less afraid. I can't wait to hear about your talents. I would love for you to let me know what they are in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Miss Anna, this is Sylvester Sloth, and this has been Storytime. See you later, friends.